true. <coughs> okay, so um, I actually got an email today that wanted to know if we would be willing to explain the birds and bees to his 13-year-old son. <laughs> a, that's a little late. <laughs> 13 is late. I think it's late. I think so, too. I mean, they where, have to have where some Where are you at, 7 or 8? Where, where are you, what grade are you at, 13? 13? You're, 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 in, you're in like 8th grade, 7th grade. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's a little, I mean, hopefully, you know, some kids might already be experimenting at that point, but they probably already heard something. They already heard something. They probably already got some bad information or some good information or a combination thereof. So he's looking for more so you're, bad you're, information. So you're not coming in completely cold. Okay. You so, know, but if you can sit the kid down and listen. <laughs> I just so hope this is a joke. Please. Why would anyone want to turn this over to us? Why would anybody? <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Where, it is I, the bird's job to make the nest. Okay. <laughs> okay. To go get the food. To just fly around and look pretty. Okay. Those are all things the bird should do. Right. And it's the bee's job to give her the bee stinger. To give her the bee stinger. Give her the bee stinger. Okay. <laughs> and understand if you do not, if if you are not prepared for this stinging, <laughs> and what I mean by prepared, if you're not protected during this stinging process, <laughs> there's going to be pain later. <laughs> often. And often. Often. Okay, yeah, so, and honestly, if it's first... This and it's be, the case with most bees. <laughs> yeah, most bees... You got one shot for the sting, and then it, it breaks off, and you probably die. <laughs> <laughs> so make it count. Make it a special bird. <laughs> so, it would, it, would be, it would behoove you to wait later on in life, because you don't want to die now. You don't want to die now. Okay. <laughs> so, I think and if you don't sting her right for sure, she'll just turn around and kill you. It's a done deal. <laughs> As we've learned in past episodes. Use your stinger properly. <laughs> Read the manual. <laughs> First of all, the fact that birds and bees, are to, it's, it's weird. Okay. So oh, I, hey, now. I know. I'm not judging anybody. Don't judge this young man. <laughs> If you want to be a bird and a raccoon, a bee and a flower, it doesn't matter. You're okay, and we accept you. We accept you. A bee and a flower. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. That's like the dude in the car. That's an inanimate object, dude. <laughs> Who are we to judge? You can't have a relationship with a flower. Coco. Who are we to judge? Did you ever see that movie, Lars and the Real Girl? Back in the day, birds and bees weren't supposed to be together. <laughs> that was before <laughs> 1960, though. So we got to stick to something that flies, is that it? No, I'm not It's at least got to fly. No, I, I just think it's got to have a heartbeat. It could be a butterfly. It could be a... It doesn't have to have a heartbeat. Mosquito. Or something. It doesn't have to be alive. Because that's... Flowers are alive. Oh. Where have you been? Can they get up and move <laughs> on their own? <laughs> Maybe. That would be like you Maybe going they outside. don't want to. Oh, God. <laughs> then again, maybe they would like to run but can't. They grow where they're planted. Not everybody travels the globe. That would be the same as you going out and humping the stomp sign. That would be exact. There's no different than you going out and hump the stop sign. It can't move. Okay. I'm just saying there's different thoughts for everybody on this. Okay. I'm just saying that it's got to be. Uh, An animal. Something with a face. How about that? Okay. A clock has a face. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Clocks are in play. Clocks are in play. Let's go. Get it. Let's, let's just make it simple for the kid. <laughs> okay. Flowers, no. You can hump a clock. Learn to lick your own stinger. Oh, 
Save yourself. Okay, that is safe stinging. Okay, so... <laughs> and truly, you can't sting anybody else till you learn to sting yourself, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's true. <laughs> okay, so... And save yourself for marriage. Okay, good, good. Save yourself for marriage. Because, you know what, there are they're going to be a lot of birds. A lot of birds. There's going to be a bunch of chicken heads running around. And you're going to think, never, I'll never have a shot at another bird like that. Right. You Wait. The special bird will wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> but when you do pick just the right bird, right? don't ask permission. <laughs> Storm the castle. Storm the castle. <laughs> <laughs> Be an angry bee. Be a wasp. <laughs> the real fact is, is sing it, you, sing it hard, and mean it. You started, <laughs> you started kind of late. You should have still been in your diaper. You could have built, you know, a couple of birds with one stone. Really. <sighs> now I'm telling them to kill the bird. Don't. Okay, that, that's a bad. No, that's a bad analogy. Don't. Don't. No two birds with one stone. No. Okay, so I think. I think. I think that kind of makes sense. Really? No. <laughs> no. I'm lost. No. <laughs> Completely lost. <laughs> you went off track when you were boinking the flower. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, work your own stinger until you find the right bird. Um, once Final you find answer. the right bird, you're only going to sting once and you're going to die, so make it later. <laughs> Then sooner, live your life more before life. you before you go. A lot more to life than stinging. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and really, there's a lot of things you can do actually without even using your stinger. <laughs> oh God! And when you find the special bird, don't find the bird that everybody else has stung. <laughs> That's a dirty bird. And she will not appreciate you. <laughs> find a bird that has never been stung before that will not know any better about how well you stung her. <laughs> oh. That's a dirty bird. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 bird that's been hanging around the hive. No. <laughs> she is immune to your sting. She will not appreciate the beauty of it. Your sting will be wasted. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, are there any questions? <laughs> Go get him. <laughs> really? <laughs> now get in the game, son. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Scratch that whole thing. You should just ask ask your girlfriend or wife to explain it. It's, it's <laughs> That's a dirty bird. <laughs> you don't want the dirty birds. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well...